So here's how it all started. About six months ago, today, almost, Danielle had asked me to help her surprise Joey at Chicago. Chicago. So here's that real quick. Welcome to Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> It's really what? I was surprised. I don't have like a, an amazing phase of like, oh my god, wow, I'm surprised. Uh, but I was very surprised. I was very happy about it. We thought he knew. We thought he knew. We, we every day we FaceTime for about three months. We're like, Joey knows this isn't gonna work. Like, we can't do this. Then, as you saw, it worked out. And now Joey wanted to surprise Danielle in Tampa for graduation. Now it's my turn. A lot of you were pretty mad that I didn't go to prom. I just didn't think that that that's not a that's not a me thing. That's something you spend with like your class. High school, yeah. That's a high school thing. It's like right? you gotta do it with, in the moment with all the friends that you grew up with. Exactly. But graduation, that's a family moment. And that's something I think I think I think I should be there for. So we are extremely tired. Here's why. We flew to San Fran because we have a show and we're meeting all of you guys today, which is insane. So about 12 hours from now, we are flying overnight flight, red eye, to Tampa, Florida. So we're not getting any sleep. And then right there, from when we land, I go, It's go time. We have a time. whole game plan, a plan of action that has to happen at perfect execution for this to work out. We land, hotel, he needs to get ready. I was on FaceTime with Danielle about a week ago and she was like, I thought you were gonna surprise me because my brother's also having a graduation so I was telling her like, what do I wear to my brother's graduation? She thought I was talking about hers, but no. Then she goes, Joey, you know you're gonna have to surprise me like one of these times because we were talking about anniversaries and everything like that. And I was like, well, I, I'd rather plan stuff so you know, and I'm like, I'm really bad with surprises. Little does she know. Wait, no, she definitely knows, but little does she know this is happening. She doesn't know. She doesn't know. So she thinks we're heading to Hawaii tonight on a red-eye flight, and we're not coming to Tampa till Thursday morning. He Fans gets up on Thursday. Yeah, so she thinks we're coming in on Thursday straight from Hawaii, but we're actually not. Anyways, let's do it. Let's get this started. All right, so we are all packed up. The event has finished, and we're getting an Uber, and we're going to the airport. Yo, I packed a carry-on inside of a carry-on. Yeah, he packed two bags inside There's of a bag. There's a bag inside of this. It's gonna be a good There's trip. A full bag inside of this empty bag. <laughs> it's gonna be a long trip. Made it to the airport with uh, about an hour and a half. And this is going to be the longest night ever. I almost threw up in that Uber. He was driving like an absolute maniac. But hey, we made it. And we're here. And I'm happy. I brought Hunter a bottle of water and he's saying he can finish it. You can't do it. Disappointing. You can't do it. <laughs> you tried. <laughs> That's how our trip's gonna go. Okay, I drink half of it. That's like a lot. This That's is a whole liter. Like, I drink half a liter. That's a lot. It's impressive. So far, I have so to pee. good. Okay. All right. I'll talk to. Okay. So far, so good. Except Danielle keeps texting me asking about my flight info, and we said that we were going to Hawaii, so we have to keep making up like where we're going and we said we're flying to Atlanta first so we can get first class seats and then that's where the direct flight is from. So, I'm still pretty convinced that Danielle knows. So Hunter literally just got a ticket. I just booked a flight to Honolulu through Atlanta because that's where we told her we were going. If she doesn't believe this now, like. So we're gonna send her a picture of the boarding pass. <laughs> Hopefully this. <laughs> if this one's work, listen. Just don't surprise anyone. <laughs> so we sent her the flight information and she literally just was like, okay, cool. I'm gonna go to bed. So that's. She definitely, she knows. But you know, life's rough, and that's okay. We're still going. What'd you just say to me? She doesn't know. You, why'd you just tell me she knew? She, if she knows, then this is over. Then what's the point of trying? Oh, so do you actually want to go to Hawaii? Wait, I just booked her, that's where I booked her flight. Oh, thank God. <laughs> hey, it's your Good boy. Morning. Yeah, we made it to Charlotte, North Carolina. Yo, we're tired. It's 6 a.m. now, and we left at 10 p.m. San Fran time. Okay, I just have to say one thing. What? If you're sitting in the window seat and you need to get up and go to the bathroom, don't just climb on top of people. The other thing is, is that we also want to make sure that we slept, so we took some z -Quil, <laughs> we took some sleeping pills, and we knocked the heck out. We were just done done. All right, we are gonna board, and we'll see you in Tampa. Bye. And we've made it. It feels like it's literally been the longest day ever. It has, but two days.
Yep. Still paranoid, still thinks she knows because every time she texts, it's all, it, we find it very weird and we She's always doing think... doing her like damn fam like voice through text now. Yeah. Like, it's... can't fool me. I'm hoping we still are. <laughs> <laughs> Thing, but. Or at least pretend, I don't know. Wakasa is disgusting out here. It's humid, it's sticky, it's gross, I need a shower. So part of the reason why she may be off texting, she's saying that she's emotional because it's the last day of like high school and in a hole. So literally does she know this is the best day ever? Yeah, I, I freaking hope Danielle, so. Danielle, this is gonna be the best day ever. It better be. Said she's already cried twice this morning. Me too though. Yeah, we fly a lot. We're crying. <laughs> Wanna know how early it is? We just checked into our hotel and we're getting breakfast at the hotel. So we took a little nap and then I, I showered real quick and now I'm dealing with the wobbliest iron in the universe. Trying to iron these pants, my shirt. But we're making our way there. The mom is texting me and she told me that all, all the details that I need and Danielle's already at school. I, I don't know if she knows. I don't know if she does know. Yeah, we're gonna find out, it, but it's freaking me out. I'm stressing out here. In honor of Danielle, we're gonna do an outfit of the day. Everything's frank enough. That's all you need to know. Uh, funky pants and funky shoes. She asked me to bring this outfit because I'm seeing her later this week, but she asked me to bring this outfit and I was like, no, no I'm not bringing this outfit. It's a little bit too weird. So I thought the perfect time to wear it would be well, now. I'm, I'm getting a little nervous. It's coming. Can I show my outfit of the day too? You want to do what? My outfit of the day. Your outfit of the day. Okay, I'm yeah, sure. Uh, who's it, who's it by? I'm going like this. I brushed my teeth though, it's okay. Who's it by? GW. Well, you look good, kid. You look good. Don't do that. I am a little bit nervous because not only am I trying to surprise Danielle, the person who probably knows what's happening, but I also have to meet part of her family without her, <laughs> all alone. So that should be fun too. Hunter says I look gay with those outfit. Do I look gay? No. Okay, even if I did, I'd be looking bomb. Thank you. <laughs> Spiffy? I'll take it. Oh, whoa, it's foggy. Hey! <laughs> That's it. You okay. log. Call me a delivery. <laughs> cool. Good Thank luck. you. Thank you very much. Good luck. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. yeah. Now I'm gonna shoot my pants. Bye. Okay. Thanks, guys. Bye. Same with the fam. And I'm trying not to be seen this entire time, but as you can probably tell, up there there's windows and that's where they all are. And they're gonna be there. I'm probably gonna get seen, but that's okay. She's behind this wall. I've been trying not to look. I don't know if she's seen me. We're okay. You have no idea. She's so used Okay, <laughs> as you can probably see, I have the bags under my eyes, so I don't really know what to say. But uh, I have some more stuff, so you guys sit. Hold on. What? I come home and my mom comes in and she goes, Joey. Okay, so I got this for Danielle. I was like, you did what? Hey, so I got a nice little gift for Danielle for her graduation, like a nonchalant thing. Just a little thing. It's nothing major. It's a little book. It's J.K. Yeah. Rowling's little speech. I didn't even get her. You did so. <laughs> I'll say thank you for her. Thank you. You're welcome. What else are you getting? Good little bookmark with a D. With the D on it? Why you got cute? 
That's not fair. I when I thought it was over, no, no, no. She pulls out and she goes, look at the wrapping paper that I got. Did I do good? You got marble wrapping paper. Well, I thought that's what she liked. That's exactly what she likes. This isn't fair. You know it better than me. No, I get to open it. I got her stuff. <laughs> From her to you. I didn't know there was a card. Anyways, I felt really bad because I was I like, yo, Lil. I didn't even get her anything. This is the best gift ever. I don't know. I, I think it's weird that you get gifts on graduation. I'm framing this. The kidneys. My heart. Sure, apparently I wrote that. <laughs> you wrote that? Nope. I wonder what it is. This is so cute. Oh my god, and it's a bookmark with a D. I was about to buy a bookmark the other day. Thank you, Mrs. Kidney and Mr. Kidney and Patty. Yeah, Thanks, so I told her like you Joey. like girl boss stuff. Because I didn't even know she got this. This is and then so she's like, freaking cute. This I didn't like know JK Rowling had this. I thought she yeah. just did. Apparently it's like a feel-good thing. Mine? <laughs> Why'd you get me something? No, you're gonna, okay, it's nothing. It's like a gag gift. It's a gag gift. <laughs> if it's cream cheese. Is it cream cheese? Yeah, it's cream cheese. Oh, it's marble wrapping paper too. You know what that is? <laughs> is this a purple Kay. umbrella? Oh my god. Okay. That's awesome. You know when you, you called me a while back and you were like, I, it was something, no, it's for my birthday. And you were like, I was, yeah, I was gonna get you a purple umbrella. Yeah. I had this right beside my computer when you were No, I, I tried to, I was gonna get him a purple umbrella for his birthday. And I couldn't get like a big one because it wouldn't fit in my luggage. Because I just can't get over, like I've asked him probably so many questions. More than, actually, no, I always ask a lot of questions. I didn't necessarily want to surprise her. I just wanted to see. I didn't want to surprise her. No, I didn't care. That's not what I was there for. I was there to just see it. I was there to see you graduate. Shake that hand, get that diploma. Didn't even dab, disappointed. I dabbed at the end, they go, congratulations class 2017, and I go this, and you I did it again. You were behind like a guy that was 6'4". I guess I'm gonna end it there because I'm lazy and I'm tired. So that's this video where Joey surprises Danielle for her graduation. Or attempts to. Attempts to, I was surprised. I don't know if it's a success. We'll Why? see how I edit it, I don't know. I'm tired. Yeah, I'm gonna go to bed after this. Anyways, stay, you, stay beautiful. beautiful and you will never know where I'm going to see you. Because I can see you anywhere. Uh, me happens. or them? You. I'll surprise you again. Will you? You don't really like surprises. I'm surprised. Oh. <laughs>